for the June 2015 Herf Club review video. Today we're going to be smoking this beautiful looking cigar right here. Just ready to get started here. Taking a look. Couple of veins, nothing too serious. Beautiful looking leaves. The wrapper is a just a dark chocolate looking leaf. Very oily both to the touch and to the sight. It's got a closed foot on there. Can't wait to get started. Yep. All right, so we're just getting started. We're just about a little quarter inch in here. First thing I'm noticing is it has a very woody aroma. Taste-wise, it's very smooth. Not a lot, not any harshness, not any anything like that. It's got a little bit of pepper and spice, really well blended. It's uh, starting off really well. So we're in the first third of the cigar here. It's been very enjoyable so far. The flavor notice differences I've noticed from the first initial thoughts are it's actually about the same. It has a very woody aroma, it's very smooth, it has a lot of pepper and spice. If anything, the pepper and spice has intensified from the foot. Otherwise, it's just about the same. My burn line's staying pretty even, not bad considering we're in this outdoors environment, and it's smoking very well. So I'm into my second third now, still really enjoying this. The burn line uh, has required a few touch-ups, probably because we are outdoors and we've got a, just a little bit of a breeze going. Uh, the ash profile has really held on well. Flavors have remained consistent. Still very woody, pepper and spice. It's a very heavy, very rich smoke. It actually makes quite a volume of smoke. It's quite nice. The draw has been perfect. And uh, yeah, really been enjoying this. Moving into the final third now. Flavors have remained very consistent. If anything, they've merely intensified. A lot of the earthiness is still there. Definitely a lot of the woody notes and the aroma is still there. It's definitely a lot of pepper and spice. Overall, it's been enjoyable because it hasn't gotten harsh at all. So it's been a good smoke on that account. Uh, so it has smoked really well. The draw is starting to close up a little bit on me. Maybe a little bit of build up. This is a bigger cigar, a double Corona size. So I'm getting just a, just a touch of build up at the end, but overall it's been a good smoke and I have enjoyed it. That's that time. Time for the reveal. The Herf Cigar this month was the M Bombay Corojo Scuro Double Corona Size. This has an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper with an Ecuadorian binder. The filler has three different countries, Ecuador, Dominican Republic, and Peruvian tobacco. Peruvian tobacco is not altogether common and definitely adds a unique flavor component to this cigar. Although it was somewhat one-dimensional, it was a good dimension and it stayed consistent throughout while strengthening a little bit in flavor toward the end. Bombay Cigars is Mel Shaw. He runs a cigar shop down in Palm Springs, Palm Desert. This is his house blend, or at least it started that way. They now have a couple of lines and their factory is in Costa Rica. Although I should mention, none of their lines include Costa Rican tobacco. They do have a lot of really double A grade tobaccos that are quite tasty. Thank you all for watching, and we can't wait to see you next month.